Hello, my name is Professor Mary Stiasny and I'm the Pro Vice-Chancellor International Learning and Teaching of the University of London. I'd like to wish you all a very happy International Women's Day and explain what this year's theme, Break the Bias, means to me. International Women's Day is a global celebration of the social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women. This year's theme, Break the Bias, encourages us to imagine a gender equal world, one free of bias, where women are given the space to flourish and thrive. At the University of London, we strongly believe in the importance of championing and supporting women, highlighting their achievements in the workplace and beyond. We are proud of our historical legacy. In 1868, nine women were admitted to the University of London's special examinations, making us the first university to do so in the United Kingdom. We also welcomed the first female Vice-Chancellor in the Commonwealth in 1948, with Dame Lillian Penson's appointment. We know, however, that there is still progress to be made. Throughout my career in higher education, I have been involved in several initiatives to provide opportunities for women. Recently, this has included Aurora, a leadership development initiative giving women key skills to progress in their careers, and the Athena Swan Charter, a framework used globally to support and transform gender equality within higher education and research. So, what does the theme Break the Bias mean to me? To me, this means a world free of stereotype, of bias and of discrimination, so that all people can have equal opportunities and be equal. Have I faced bias in my career and how did I overcome this? I have faced bias. I think all women have probably faced bias in different ways. Uh, one often recognises it when one sees that one is the only woman on a panel, in a room, in an organisation's senior staff. And how have I overcome it? I think I've probably just kept going. I've believed that I have the right to be there and I've carried on. How do I think that we can ensure that more women can fill leadership positions in their organisations? I think we can do it in different ways. We can encourage women from the start from being girls to realise that they can become leaders. I think secondly, we in leadership positions need to support, mentor and really sponsor women in their attempts to, to get promotion and to reach leadership positions. It's important that women support other women. What's the best piece of advice that I can give to women wishing to progress in their career? I think what I would say is that for women wanting to progress in their career, they have to have self-belief, they have to have determination. We know from the evidence that when men apply for advancement, for progression, for promotion, they will keep going, the statistics show us, they will keep going, they'll apply, they'll fail to get a promotion, but they'll apply again for the next one and they'll keep going, sometimes applying for 20 different jobs in order to get the advancement that they want. We also know that when women do it, if they fail to get advancement, they try a couple of times and then they stop. So the best piece of advice I can give to women wanting to progress in their career is keep going, believe in yourself and actually get some support while you're doing it, a mentor, another woman who will support you and advise you and encourage you to keep going. What advice would I give to students who are thinking about their future career? I think what I would say is you need to think about what you want to do, you need to think about what it might mean for you to do it, and then you need to just get on with it. Because actually it comes step by step. Have belief in yourself, have determination, see if you can get a mentor to support you, and go for it. And my best of wishes to you, good luck as you go there. How do I support gender equality at the University of London? Well, I am leading the Athena Swan programme. This is the programme which is in, in support of developing gender equality in universities around the UK. We are working on this at the moment. We have a team of people involved and our commitment is strong to have and to develop and to support and to ensure full gender equality at the university.